Bruce the Moose and Prancer by Tina Rance. Bruce woke up in the freezing cold. The forest was a delight to behold. A blanket of snow, sparkling white. Something to celebrate, what a sight. He played in the snow, prancing around, until he slipped on the ice on the ground. Bruce caught his balance and stood up tall. Bells tinkled in the distance, a wintry call. Bruce knew that Christmas was on the way. Could Santa be visiting now on his sleigh? A few minutes later, Bruce had his answer. He spied his neighbor, a pony called Prancer. Bruce greeted Prancer, a good day to you. For a minute, I thought a dream had come true. I thought that Santa Claus might soon appear. Maybe I'd find a cousin among his reindeer. Or maybe Santa would offer me some work. A job with Santa would be an amazing perk. Prancer smiled at Bruce and wished him well, and shared that he had a special dream to tell. Prancer had dreamt that in spite of his shyness, one day he'd get a job with Her Royal Highness. Though I don't think I really have a chance, you see. The royal carriage needs horses, not a pony like me. Prancer shared his dream with horses he knew. They all just laughed and looked at him askew. Even they had not gotten a job with the queen, but with much greater height and fur with the sheen. They exercised well and ate top quality grass, but the queen chose only the best of first class. There were people who worked at the forest stable. Bruce was wary of them, so he felt he was unable to visit his friend Pony, Prancer in his home, so they met when Prancer went out to Rome. Bruce smiled at Prancer who'd come to play. I believe your dream could come true one day. The friends kept playing, having fun in the snow. Fresh air and holiday spirit made their fur glow. They had a great time even though they got wet, suddenly noticing a sign that they hadn't seen yet. The queen will be coming here in two days to visit the stable, looking for a horse in his prime. Prince looked at Bruce, high excitement in his face. The queen needs a new horse to fill an empty place. How Prince wished he was a real horse in full size. He couldn't hide the longing, wistful look in his eyes. Bruce offered to take his friend to a meadow far away. It never snowed there. The grass was green every day. Prancer thanked Bruce, you're a special friend. You're happy to help, though I won't win in the end. Bruce smiled and answered with a twinkling eye, a small Christmas gift for my favorite little guy. And if you succeed, you can bring me a gift too. Pine cones from the palace are the best in my view. Bruce the Moose took Prancer to the secret green field. It was in a hidden valley. The hills around were a shield. Beyond the snowy forest hills lay this magical place, a meadow filled with flowers and lots of open space. Prancer spent the day eating healthful green grass. His white fur was aglow and he truly felt first class. Prancer went home after saying goodnight to Bruce. He returned the next day his best friend, the moose. They started their morning with a dip in the river the water was freezing and they started to shiver. Bruce and Prancer played in the snow until quite late. Glowing with good health, Prancer truly looked great. Two days had passed. Today they'd meet the queen. Prancer looked in the mirror to be sure he was clean. The horses were ready. There was an excitement at the stable. When would the queen arrive? What was her timetable? The black horse and brown one were nasty to Prancer. You really think a midget pony give the queen her answer? Excitement was high, the horses and grooms waited. What a special rare occasion, everyone was elated. The royal carriage arrived, pulled by horses tall and fine, well trained and proud, and marching in a straight line. Prancer the little pony tried to stand tall and steady. His heart was beating so hard he felt dizzy and heady. The queen bid them good day in her strong, regal voice, immediately turning to look for the horse of her choice. She checked out the brown horse and she declared, Not elegant enough for me, his nose is too flared. 
The brown horse was quite insulted, but took it in stride. The queen would choose just one. He knew he had tried. Though she was impressed by the horse with black fur, her royal highness announced that he was not for her. His gait was dainty, and he seemed very strong and tough. The problem was a smile. His teeth weren't white enough. All the horses were on display, a truly impressive sight. But the queen didn't find one who was just right. The queen's time was short. She had to be on her way. Thanking everyone politely, she wished them a good day. Prancer was disappointed. The queen was about to leave. Without even seeing him, what did his grooming achieve? When the queen was ready, wearing her coat and shawl, she caught sight of the pony on the path near the wall. Look what I have just found, she called out with glee. Perfect for the princess, though he's too small for me. The pony for her birthday is a dream come true for her. This pony is the perfect size with gleaming white fur. All the horses looked with envy at their lucky friend. In spite of all the odds, he had been accepted in the end. They were sorry they had been so mean to the little guy. Now they wished him success as they all said goodbye. Prancer got ready to go to the palace right away, thanking Bruce, who had believed all would be okay. Prancer came back for a Christmas visit next year with a special present for Bruce and holiday cheer. He pulled the carriage where the freckled princess sat. It also held a sack of pine cones, each as big as a bat. Bruce chewed a giant pine cone. It was very delicious. Happy for his friend who never gave up on his wishes. If you liked the story, give it a thumbs up below. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you in the next one.